Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn. Welcome back to Potion Craft. We're making glue, I think. Yes, glue. Paintings on the walls. The paintings on the wall you left behind are the scars upon my heart. How dare you, madam. How dare you. I'll never be the same again. Oh, my porcel. Boo, boo, boo. A little bit of that. A little bit of mushroom. Okay. And then a little bit more of that. Not now, maybe there. Some of these prickly pickles. And oh, if I could drop it down without it being that expensive. Earth root, there we go. Oh, that is beautifully perfect. And a pretty simple recipe, too. Alright, let's make it. And let's hope I don't get messed up too much by the oil I'm going to nick here. Okay. Ooh, it's less than perfect now. Ah, oh, damn. It was so perfect. It really was. Now we have to use a little bit of fire magic here to fix it up. Okay, what fire plant do I have in the highest abundance? Well, I don't use these anymore, so. Just one of those. Pop it up to there, perfect. And apply the water lightly, lightly now. There we go. All right, glue potion made. There you go, sir. All right, is that all the customers for a day? Yeah, guess it is. Great moon salt. Guess we can salt the moon salt a little bit more. Salt of the earth. Oh wow, that's actually a really simple last recipe. Invisibility wings and heart. Okay, invisibility wings and heart. So that's water then. Right, invisibility wings and heart. Quite a climb, I think. Well, let's see. What stones do I have? <clears throat> got wind stones. I got arcane stones. Okay, so we'll go bloop. That's the path I'll take, a bloop. Bloop's a good path. I like bloops. Bloops are a very good path. All right, whirly wind to start off with, because they get us where we're going quickly. So one whirly wind, and then a feather bloom. After that, straight into a lush room. It's one level of charm, right? One level of charm. Yes, one level of charm. Okay. So lush room into probably a mad shroom yeah mad mushroom all right <clears throat> one mad mushroom and then from there can witch shroom into our arcane shroom witch shroom arcane Lightly does it. To about there. That needs to be two levels of perfection. So. Now the grasping root will do it, but it goes far, far, far to a field. Whereas the bloodthorn will do it perfectly, I think. We'll just fully match the bloodthorn. We can do some adjustments. Right, let's go from there. Get the invisibility as the final step, as I need to do some water pouring in. I'm not 100% certain how that will work out, but as it stands now, we're just going to swoop and loop it about and make the potion exactly as they need it to be. High prof and all that stuff. So, dash of love, dash of charms, anyways. Straight over to flight. 
One stir. A little bit of a pour. A little bit more of a stir. A little bit more of a pour. Okay. That's two tiers. I'm not sure if I'll be able to manage this. Um, I can get to the widest point there. And might bounce back from there. I can also just degrade the path. I might have messed up a little bit more than I can afford to. So we'll just void salt it. Oh, that is a lot of void salt used. Not like I use it for anything else, though. Okay. Well, let's get out of there quickly. We'll use just water bloom to set myself in the right direction. I'm going to use an arcane to get through here. So we're going to have to drop down. So let's look at the water that I have available. That's a cloud. Okay. I don't have water stones of any sort. Uh, Healer's Hearth will drop me down to about there. Perfect. And invisibility is basically mine. Boom, teleport. And a refern should be the last step we need. Tier two. There we go. And that goes into the final bottle there, and that is Moon Salt completed. Moon Salt, Moon Salt, Moon Salt. Did I mention Moon Salt's game made? There we go. Look at that. All running down, burbling away, distilling, pumping. And we now got the Moon Salt. Good job, complete this chapter. All right. Now what does Moon Salt do? Not to be confused with Moon Sugar. Haha, <laughs> very funny. All right, created Moon Salt. Does a manual tell me what it does? No. So I know the void salt voids out paths in its description. Um, oh, is moon salt a rotator? Does this rotate the pot? It does, okay. And water forces rotation back. So it's something to be very careful of when we want to do any sorts of rotation. Okay. Well, next we have to make citrine. Uh, and the citrine requires a whole bunch of red and yellow and some blue fire shield, ice shields. Okay. The light fire explosion. Do I even just have one of those prepared? That'd be hilarious if I did. I don't think I do, though. <laughs> it is something I would do, though. Light fire explosion. Definitely something I would do. A light fire explosion. Light fire explosion. Total light, then fire explosion. Alright. I am missing what from this recipe? We got the lava root, we got the magma shelf. I have the flowers. What? Why? Why can't I make that recipe? I've got two sulfur shells. I've got one fire root. And I've got the magma root. Uh, oh, is it because the thing's already been moon salted, and so that screws it up? Okay. There we go. Continue brewing from here. So, fire and explosion. Honestly, if I loop down here, can I sneak it up into... I can. Oh, that is brilliant. Alright. One fire. And... Okay. How do we want to get to this madness now? Let's play with some mad germs. So, mad shroom. Let's check out the wind. It's probably going to take some wind and water. Uh, 
with his option to get there, however, we need a little bit more up in our bucket. Uh, Shadow Blooms feels like such a waste. Let's use one of these here. Get somewhere comfortable. Okay. And then... I could use this fruit. This fruit is fun. It might break, though. So we'll use a shadow. Okay. There we go. One shadow. Kept to the explosion. We got the bottle of fire, light, and explosions. I think I'm just going to leave everything down here until I'm ready. Good and ready. Oh, and so we actually need the moon salt as we're going to be getting the rotations. I guess actually not. I have to just find and beginning among here if I want to. Oh god. I don't want to know where to start with the beginning in this area. Well, let's see. The shock resistance is there. Um, so it's there. So it's a relative shift. And then the beginning is all the way over there. So, and Bignin might be hiding somewhere over here. That seems really messy to go and find. Really, really messy. Have to do some shopping before then. So before that, a little bit of sleeping, I think. All right. To the night, to the new dawn. Oh, the door. A Ponzi gentleman is up first. Okay, eyes bigger. Horse mate. I begin potion. Ba, ba, ba. I didn't save them beginning. There it is. Hiding over here. There you go. One I in beginning potion. There you go. Hide from guards, madam. Hide from guards. Well, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. So, there's your invisibility potion. Uh, less clumsy. Cat's paw potion. Uh, well... Someone might want to buy that someday. Someone might want a tier 2 whatever, whatever, whatever potion. Because they're insane. So I'll brew that recipe for you, get it to you proper. Uh, potion to help you write a song? A what? Um, a charm potion? A mel- I've, I've never heard of a potion that helps you write songs. Uh, let me check the alchemist path. Potion of Inspiration. Potion of Inspiration. Potion of Inspiration. Where do Inspiration even dwell? I've seen a lot of this map. Only area I can think of is down in here, where I haven't done much looking. I guess I can go down there. Explore the void, so to say. All right. Won't need one of those to about this point here. And then need a dead drop all the way over to here. That's about that there. Which is, inspiration doesn't feel like fire and earth to me, like maybe fire and air, but there's nothing left over there for that. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, it's like stink over there and stuff. Huh. Well, we shall see what we see. Shall we not see it? Alright. Um, we'll use one of those, I guess. No. Not the biggest fan of it. Alright. Let's brew from here, see where we get to, see what happens. Hmm. 
got my workout fine. Okay, let's see a little bit more. Just stink really doesn't scream inspiration to me. That's the biggest issue I'm having. Maybe it's not an oil potion. That is a possibility. I might need a material I do not have yet to do it. It could also be up here, which I really don't think it is though. Huh. I just don't see it down here. I really don't see it. Okay. Let's try one of these. Grind down to here. Easy does it now. Alright. Um, life plant. What is inspiration? It'd be like water and fire. Water and fire doesn't work, so like water... It's either air and fire, or air and water. Inspiration is not going to be of the earth. It's just not. Okay. Well, I've wasted a lot in the exploration. Can I recover anything out of this? Um, fire potion. Not, not really. I mean, where's the frost shield located even? Frost shield's all the way over there. Ah, it's a climb. I mean, the frost shield, fire shield dichotomy's already going to be a nightmare. Maybe it dwells up there in that corner. Okay. Well, we'll climb towards the fire shield then. Or the frost shield. We'll make the frost shield fire shield. As much as I feel it is a waste of resources. Okay. Actually, that might not be a terrible way to climb. Hopefully, it doesn't get messed up too much by the oil. Ooh, it's going to be bad. Yep, okay. Right then. Over into the fire. Fire of the abyss. Let's go. Let's see. Let's conquer. Do I have any fire gems? I mean, they make it faster. Don't know if they make the trip better. And we'll just power through with fire flowers. Fireweed. Whatever it's called. Flameweed. Okay. That should get me to about in between the two oils or halfway through the middle. Okay. Yeah, so about to there, and now we'll just use the thorn. Actually, not a bad way to get to the frost is like this. I mean, there's definitely better results you could ask for. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll do. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Frost shield, fire shield it is then. Tier two of each. I reckon this will get me, yep, tier two of each. Let's check. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I think I have the tier two frost shield saved anyway, so I can afford to just do this. So tier two, and then we need a little hopscotch up. Just a little bit of a guide. Right about there, yep, okay. That'll bring me back all the way over, and I can use the fire shield next. So I'll use the water weeds to get to the fire shield. Okay, there's a frost. Fire shield is direct opposite. So water time, and we got some good water plants here. Uh, yeah, the dichotomy between these two. Nice balance, nice flavor, nice taste to them. Although I could honestly take an ice fruit dip down to here, line that up, then completely navigate underneath, and then crawl up part of the way with a spell bloom. 
to the midpoint. Okay. I like where this is going. Let's see if oil ruins best laid plants. Doesn't seem like it is so far. I think I'll make it through those bones. It's going to be a close brush, but yeah, I make it through just fine. And now we can't use this because it likes killing itself. Can't use the Kraken leaf, we're just going to have to use some water blooms. One water bloom. Now I might be able to Kraken it. Yes, Kraken for success here. All right, Tentacle Justice it is. Go team Tentacle A. Here we go. And brilliant. Okay. Excellent. And that is a Fire Shield, Frost Shield mix. And then I need a Pure Frost Shield. So, brew this recipe. And we'll leave that down here as well. Okay, so far so good. And we need pure light and pure fire. So, pure light, pure fire. Both relatively straightforward to make. Pure ambiguity and pure exploding. Okay, pure ambiguity. And pure exploding. The rest are going, oh no, I don't want that in there. The rest are going to be a little, little bit more complicated though. Just, just a little bit more complicated. Okay. Inspiration. Huh. It's not here. Right then. Hmm. 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 Okay, water is knowledge. However, given that the emotions have been heart, rage, and lust, so charming, rage, or lust. I feel like inspiration might be hiding up here. However, it could be in this area, but air and water seem more like wisdom to me, whereas the fiery inspiration is what you're looking for. Fiery inspiration, not weak inspiration, but like inspiration with a bite to it, you know? Right, it's something to give the world a shake and see what falls out sort of deal. Get your blood all hot. I'm just trying to come up with reasons for my belief. And what are these? These are Boom Bloom, which actually make perfect explosions. Just two blue booms and you get an explosion. You have to grind them up completely, but... They will, I believe, oh, they almost give you a tier three. They give you a very nice tier two explosion. Need a very tiny drop. Okay, let's loop it up. Oh, that might be a little bit too much looping. Eh, I'll be fine. And can't use that, can't use that. We can't use the boom bloom. We can use the grasping root though. Okay. What do we want? Another grasping root. Okay. Right then. Careful on that grind set. Oh, it is tight into there. I was going to just blam on in. I think I might still just blam on in. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right then. We need. Maybe another blam on ah, the blam on three will die instantly. Wind, what wind do we have? We have this wind. Okay. Can I blam on through yet? I don't happen to have a fire. I do have a fire gem that will take me all the way to the other side. Let's level up my vision. My radial map vision, so I can see what we're working with here. Okay. So we're at the edge of the map. I don't see any potions yet. Fiery inspiration? Maybe it's pure fire all the way down here. That could also be enlargement, though. Have to risk it. 
Alright, bananas, don't fail me now. Let's see where you take me. Bananas are well known to be one of the more inspiring fruits in this world. Um, I sh this feels, I I'm getting too close to the earth. And earth increases the size of things, because that's going to be an enlargement potion. I guarantee that. I mean, it's a good thing to find, so let's just confirm. Let's just confirm if that's enlargement. Use the bananas to figure that out. Okay. One earth drop down. Uh, mm, yeah, we can use this. It'll get us basically where we need to go. Okay. Yes, in beginning. Right. Then back up we go. Hmm. Let's just switch to wind. Feather bloom. Can take me there. Shadow. No, no. <clears throat> no. I mean, that will take me directly where I want to go. So will the witch room, though. So we'll use witch room. Uh, this charming potion has me in a fuddling fugue. I will admit to that. will admit to that. Okay. Let's see. Another witch's cap. Bewitching. And then hmm. Not a feather bloom. A shadow candelabra it is. All the way up and around again. And now Feather Bloom will take me up and we'll loop around and shadows will take me home to sleep in bed and okay hidden paths but not paths of actuality. I'll see some of these spell, what are they, spell blooms? Yeah, spell blooms. Blooms are excellent ingredient. Okay, this could be it. Let's check. And then I'll figure out how to, oh, I'll just sell him the weak mixed potion that he's not gonna be satisfied with, but then I'll know what I'm doing for the next time. And if it isn't it, well, then plumb out luck we are. All right. Fear. Okay. Well, I guess we'll continue our topward sweep then. And we'll sweep through with water. Right then. Got some chill leaves. So, we'll chill with it. Maybe inspiration is the opposite side of fear. Or inspiration is high up in the clouds. Shoot for the stars. Could be. Might also be a red herring. Which is, I feel like invisibility and inspiration wouldn't be near each other now, would they? They seem. Well, inspiration doesn't mean trying to be popular. It's just that inspiration will usually make you popular because your music's inspiring. <sighs> Do you think there's anything worth sniffing up there? Could be. Alright. I'll take a cap up and take a look around. Let's see. Any potions? No. But that is a nice path straight through. Look at that. It's like very inviting. It's, hey, go through here. All right. We'll see if we can make it. Might be. Okay, that might be it there. That might be our potion. Oh, this is a tricky path, though, to walk. Okay, there we go. Now I can use the arcane crystal. Jump me on straight through. Take me home, arcane crystal. Let's use some life leaf. And get a taste of whatever this is. Inspiration. Now, will he want it? Not at all. 
Okay, well that's one of our trash potions. We know where inspiration is now. So that's good. I don't think I have enough wind crystals to get through that area. And jumping through here is difficult, but if I can get up to around where invisibility is... Uh, I wish I just had a spot near invisibility, but not actual invisibility brood. That'd be nice. Okay, Thunder Thistle. Don't want to use too many of those, they are precious after all. One Thunder Thistle. So are the shadows, but I can't afford them slightly more at the moment. Two shadows. And I think I actually have wind crystal. Yeah, I just have cloud crystals. So we'll be able to utilize the cloud crystals. Crystals? Crystals? Crystal crystals. To full advantage. To make him so inspired. Just so inspiring, darling. So inspiring. Okay, that's not going to dodge the way I wanted to dodge. Neither is that, but if we combine that with that, that will do... That would have done exactly what I wanted to do. I need to grind it up more. This will still get me there, nevertheless. There we go. Look at that, darling. Perfectly to the top. Oh, the people are just going to love you. Trust me on it. You are the best. No, really, you are. Okay. And full on to the crown cloud clown clowny crowd cloud crystal and a feather in the cap. Okay, one feather in the cap. Um, a little bit of love, or well, love's close friend. What can lead to love in certain situations? And, uh, I guess one of these chaotic things will winding us about to about where we need to go. Okay. Well then. Let's see. I think we're almost directly on the line. I could risk swooping it. I think I might have pulled too early. I did. Okay, well, it's not too bad. It's not irreversible. Do I want to go up and across the top? Yes, I do want to go up and across the top. The best for that will be Kraken. Kraken Bacon. Okay. Kraken, I might have screwed it up. Oh, no, I just, I need to be careful. I need to keep it gentle now, gentle now. Okay. Just a tiny bit more. There we go. Almost perfectly on the line. That's it. So we get it perfectly on the line. There. Perfect, darling. Perfect. Seems like a lot of moon salt is going to have to be used here. Oh, it rotates the whole recipe direction. Well, that makes it a whole nother dimension of interesting. Uh, one drip at a time, one drip at a time, one tick, one talk, one tack. There we go. I mean, as it is, this is the best inspiration potion we have. So, we'll save that recipe, and there you go. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. Right, that is one of those. There we go. And show me the goods, cold bloom. I do actually use these evergreen a bit. Those are kind of fun. Feather blooms, why not? Whirly blooms, couldn't care less. Yeah, drive a hard bargain, lady. Okay. But those are all very important to me. How much? 
I got a lot of those left. I got a lot of those yet. So I don't need your expensive things in the... T I don't actually have any tangleweed left, and I use some recipes with tangleweed, so... You charge me and it hurts, but it's the deal we'll have to go with. Weapons, it's a deal. Alright. And the dialogue. Potion of protection from lightning. That will be one of these. There you go. And you want chilled drinks. Lero. Okay, chilling the drinks. The drinks are chilled. Hey, there you go. And you want a smaller nose. I see someone took an embiggening potion that gave them the wrong reason. Ah, he's got a big nose. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe this time we'll believe him. We'll believe him this time. There you go. All right, and potion to light up my house. House to light up potion. Made from two ingredients, plain and simple. I think my light, po oh, it is very close to being plain and simple, my light potion. <sighs> and he needs it to be plain and simple. Two ingredients, okay. Let me think here. I can use flame flower, flame flower, flame flower, Magma. Magma right at the end. Okay. So, flame flower. Flame flower. Or flamin' weed. Mm. No, it will work. It will work. Okay, right. Because if we do this, as, oh no, it's not going to work. Oh dear. We better look out. Our potion is doomed. And then. Okay. I can't make this work though. Right. So what we want is flame flower. However, we want it to there. So, actually, there's a little bit. There we go. So, flame weed. Flame weed. There we go. And then. Uh, still might not be good enough still might break. We'll give it a shot. Well, it's not going to get the whole way, but then we can use more flame wheat, of course. Flame wheat, flame wheat. Okay. Come on! There we go. Right. And then one more flame wheat. Because this guy is picky. He wants it plain and simple, although he makes it more difficult. And there we go. And your vile commands have been fulfilled. All right. And protection from bandits and knives. Uh, I feel like invisibility would also do this, but stone skin. There we go. Oh, I didn't even go to the garden this morning. Look at that. All right. That's a good day. Got some stuff done. I'm happy with that. We got the moon salt. Not to be mistaken with moon sugar. Look at it. So good. Alright, and we're well on our way to this light thing. We just need a few more shields. Well, really, what needs is this potion, which will be really easy to do. This one will be slightly more complicated, and then that's it. So we'll get those next time. So, thank you very much for watching this time around, and I'll catch you all next time. So until then, goodbye.